They said e.l.f. is like the IT Cosmetic CC Cream. Um, Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today is my very first foundation review of the year. And we are going to tackle the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. you guys this year my goal is to do one foundation review each month for the next 12 months so the very first one that caught my attention was the elf CC cream actually it's called the elf camo CC cream um, this came out like late December of last year so it's fairly new and so I wanted to review this right away and thank you to Jackie Naturals because she was the one who suggested this foundation she told me I had to check it out this is how I review foundations I wear them for like a whole week straight and I try them on with different primers different concealers different um, foundations even I try to mix them up and I try them on with different skincare underneath and so I try them all I really put this to the test this is not a first time first impression you can see that the bottle is already <laughs> very flat this one is almost empty guys and I think I'm on week two of trying this foundation so a good 10 days of use and it's already almost empty this is the color medium 330 warm it's a really good match for me and it actually doesn't oxidize much so whatever comes out of the bottle that is true to color so I'm gonna show you guys a demonstration of me applying the foundation I'll tell you more about the foundation while I'm applying it so here's the video so the elf camo CC cream is $14 it's medium to full coverage with SPF 30 it has a natural finish, 20 shades with pretty good undertones, and my shade in particular is medium 330 warm. Now, because this is a CC cream, it has some skincare benefits. One of them is the hyaluronic acid, which helps hydrate the skin. It also contains collagen for skin elasticity, and there's also niacinamide that helps brighten the skin. There's of course sunscreen protection, the SPF 30, and this is actually 1.05 ounces. It's PETA certified, just like all the other products from e.l.f. So this is how my skin looks without any powder, just the CC cream on top. And here it is with powder on top. As you can see, it's more mattified, but it doesn't look dry at all. Okay, first things first, I used e.l.f. with a lot of primers, a lot of skincare. The most commonly used primers that I use for makeup is the Cover FX Blurring Primer and the Mattifying Primer. So these are the two and it works really, really well with the CC cream. Now the claim is that this CC cream is a dupe for the IT Cosmetics CC cream. And I wanna say, I feel like I like this just a tad bit more basically because of that natural finish so we all know CC cream or color correcting cream it has some skincare benefits um, it's usually more hydrating and moisturizing to the skin the it cosmetics compared to this one is a little bit more hydrating and for someone who has dry skin I think that is perfect like normal to dry skin but for me who's oily I feel like the it cosmetics CC CC cream actually makes me look a little more dewy than I'd like so it just depends like in the winter time I don't mind more moisture into my skin but in the summertime you know less moisture because I get oily easier so it's just about maintaining that balance um, the other difference that I found is that this is 
really full coverage buildable like medium to full coverage you can build it up as you can see it covered my acne scars really well the one under my nose um, and it hugs all of my imperfections all of my acne nicely and throughout the day this is one of the foundations that actually gets better throughout the day it comes with a pump so it looks like this and there's the color right there i know i put a very little because little goes a long way and that's the color that i put on my face today you can kind of see it's not 100 percent matte but it's not like dewy i would say it's like a soft matte finish or just like what else says on their website it's a natural finish for me i love it because it's not gonna be too too oily on the skin um so it has that good balance the kind of matte that i'm looking for where it's not too drying because sometimes drying formulas actually works against my skin like it starts to get into the crevices it starts to crease on me it won't look good around acne so all that stuff so i love the finish of this foundation it contains 1.05 ounce i would say i can cover myself with a good one to one and a half pumps depending on how much coverage i need that day you know if i want light coverage one pump is perfect um especially like in the summertime i'm 100 percent sure i'll be using one pump only this contains 1.05 ounces which is the standard it's actually a little bit more because most foundations are like one ounce i find like i'm already running out and i've only had this for two weeks like consistent use so um i feel like it runs out easily even though it has a good amount in the bottle because of the coverage i would say medium to full coverage with two pumps with two layers of foundation it had a little bit of creasing on me especially on my forehead lines um but it's not too too bad so just a tad bit creasing it's nothing that a beauty blender or a sponge can fix you just dab 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 and then the lines disappear when you first apply it it feels a little heavy on the skin and you might be thrown off like oh my gosh this sucks you know we don't like foundation that feels heavy we want it to feel like second skin or like hydrating like there's some benefits to the skin and when it starts feeling heavy we feel like our pores are being clogged you know bad ingredients i want to mention like this color pop stick that i have um if you haven't seen my video like an all color pop video this is one of those foundations that actually feel heavy on the skin and it stays heavy throughout the day this one it doesn't feel heavy throughout the day it kind of just works with your skin's chemistry and then it, it just doesn't feel heavy to me it feels very hydrating but not in a bad way i really like it it's one of those foundations that actually gets better throughout the day so that's a good thing so at first you might think oh this is too much but later on once it combines with your skin and everything it just looks plump and glowy and i love how my skin looks like especially on the two hour mark don't be scared about that kind of first initial heavy feel on the skin like i told you natural matte finish i agree with that claim it's not matte but it's not oily either i want to say this actually lasts me for a good seven hours straight and that's a lot compared to other foundations because my face eats up foundation <laughs> and makeup um most foundations last or at least looks good on my skin for a good five hours so the fact that this can look really good up to seven hours is a plus um around the six hour mark maybe my chin and nose kind of breaks apart a little bit but not too bad at all like it still covers all of my acne scars the seven hour marks you'll definitely see the shine the oiliness on my chin the oiliness on my nose i do get oily like straight down right here most of the time over here is a little drying for me and also right here but just the center of my face gets really oily and that's normal for me 
at the seven hour mark, it's time to powder or touch up. Now this one says you can touch up, but I don't recommend that. I think that's gonna be thick and heavy. Um, I would normally just go with a powder, loose setting powder on my face or just like a setting powder like MAC, the pressed powder from MAC which I really love because it kind of resets and hides my pores again. Does it work with other products? Yes. Um, I have used it with different primer. One of them is this Glossier Moisturizing Primer. I love this because it's not like a thick moisturizer, which works really well with the CC cream because it already has those hydrating benefits. Um, but I've tried it with my Cover FX Blurring Primer. Works really well. Benefit pore professional, any acne medication. I've used like this LMS anti-pollution skincare underneath it. What else have I used underneath it? I've tried combining it too with another CC cream, which is my Thrive Cosmetics CC cream. Um, I also did a video of all Thrive Cosmetics makeup. If you are interested, you can watch that. I'll put it up here in the cards. Oh, also some foundations break down when you use SPF products and this one didn't. I also used it with my Clinique Pep Start Daily UV Protection. So this is another good one that I used underneath this e.l.f. CC cream and it worked really well. I think this is a positive review. $14 for e.l.f. Not bad at all. It did not break me out. I mean, I have breakouts, but I have to say it's not because of the e.l.f. CC cream. By the way, these two, it's a match made in heaven concealer and CC cream together. Don't get the mattifying camo concealer. Get the hydrating one. That is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this review video. I will be doing another foundation review next month. Now comment down below which foundation you'd like me to review. There is a new compact foundation from Fenty that I am planning to try out or the derma blend foundation flawless creator it's an oldie but a goodie but i've never tried it and my most favorite translucent powder is from derma blend and i like the skincare benefits most makeup artists use derma blend as a brand so i'm really curious about that foundation so comment down below fenty or derma blend which foundation would you like me to review next for the month of february in case you are wondering what's on my eyes today it's actually a very quick and simple look i have these mally kind of shadow sticks they look kind of like this and i got these in my i think qvc i think qvc advent calendar this boring gray surprised me because it actually has strong shades of blue to it i use this as kind of an eyeliner and it looks so good because it had a little bit of shimmer to it and it just opens up the eyes but at the same time kind of deep deepened the outer corners so i love that for my very deep and bright lips it was pat mcgrath um in the color guinevere right there I love the Pat McGrath formula and I'm starting to get really addicted to it. But what can you do, right? That is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews as well as some unboxings here and there. So definitely stick around, join the family. And with that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon. Bye. Bye.